That's what I want to do now. I want to keep on talking about the decisions that I've made in Brussels, but then trying to figure it out how that's impacting people's lives anywhere else. During the lockdown, EU affairs correspondent Beatrice Rios had to work from the confinement of her own home. In Brussels Bubbles, she explains why she thinks it had serious negative consequences for our journalism and how she's going to take a different path from here on. The whole story is on our Facebook page, but here are some highlights. Definitely, because I mean, working for an EU bubble media, you know that your target is mainly EU officials and people in the bubble. But you can bring a bubble reporter out of the bubble, but can you take the bubble out of the reporter? That's the thing, it's, it shouldn't be out of it. it, should again, it should be a combination of both. For me, it's a combination of explaining the bubble to people and then bringing the people to the bubble as well, because that's also interesting and, and that's a, a good point. What if what's missing is that people in the bubble are not hearing those stories? Maybe that's a problem, maybe they don't understand the scope of the impact of their decision making on real people's lives. Maybe they need to hear those stories to be able to bring it into their decision making. As said, the whole story is on our Facebook page. Like our page to hear when we finally have real life shows or when we make Corona videos in the meantime. <music>